All right, now if you're about a brand new Galaxy Tab from Samsung, maybe Galaxy Tab S10 series, S9 series, S9 FE, S8 series, maybe any of these tabs, this video is going to be very useful for you guys. Here are first few important things to do on your brand new tablet. First, as soon as you unbox it and turn on the device and set it up, you need to check for the updates. Now to check the updates, all you need to do is just go to the settings, scroll all the way down, you will see software update section here, tap on this and here tap on download and install. Now this will install the latest security patch or the latest uh, upgrade that you've got for your tab. Now it says One UI 6.1.1, Android version 14, and the security patch level is September 2024. Now this is the last month security patch we have got, and we will be getting uh, the next security patch probably in a couple of months from now because Samsung is offering the security patches every quarter, not every month like the Samsung Galaxy phone. Unlike the slab phones, we get these security patches every quarter. So for now, we have got September security patch. Probably by uh, November, we will be getting the next security patch. So this is something you have to make sure you are up to date with. Now, after you check this update, all you need to do is just go back to the security and privacy settings. And here, again, you will have to check the updates for your Google Play system. Tap on updates. And here you will see Google Play system update. Just tap on this. Uh, currently it is 1st July 2024 it is showing and after checking it, it still says July 2024 Google Play system update. So every month or every quarter, uh, Google will be releasing the security updates for the Google Play system. So we need to make sure that the tablet is up to date with this as well. If the update is available, it will show up right here. Once it is downloaded, you need to restart the tablet to install all these uh, patches from Google Play system. Now apart from doing these two checks, you need to go to the Galaxy Store and uh, tap on the menu option here and tap on updates. You will see many updates available here for the system applications and you need to make sure you update all your applications. Now here we have got autofill with Samsung Pass, authentication framework, AR zone interpreter, Samsung Find, Bixby Wake Up, Samsung Pass and a few other language uh, supports here. All these have got the update. All you need to do is just tap on update all to update all these applications and stay updated. Now that is the third update you need to make sure you install on your brand new tablet. Next, let's say you have bought a tablet and you have got multiple users at your home who will be using your tablet. In that case, you don't have to share the same account with everybody. We can actually create user accounts on the Samsung Galaxy tabs. And different people can have their own accounts on a single tablet. Let me show you how to do this. All you need to do is just go to the settings, scroll all the way down, you will see this option accounts and backup. Just tap on that. Here you will see users. Tap on users. You are the owner or the administrator here, that is you. And then we have got two options here, add guest or add user or profile. Now, if somebody is permanently going to use your uh, tablet as a user, then you can set up a new user profile or you can just tap on add guest to uh, open a guest mode on the tablet and hand over the tablet to them. They can use this in guest mode. And if you want to add more users, you can just tap on add user and you can select a user. Users have their own apps and content or restricted profile, you can restrict access to apps and content from your account. If you have a teenager or a kid at your home who is going to use your tablet, then you can have a restricted profile. You can restrict the access to applications and content from your account, or you can just set up a user who will have all the access to all the applications that you have. But of course, it will be a separate set of new applications and the content which is available on the uh, user account, the first administrator account will not be visible to the, uh, the added user. So you can select depending on your requirement here. That is the second thing you need to do. Next, when you set up the tablet, you will see the navigation button right here at the bottom right corner. Now, if you want to use the navigation gestures instead of these buttons, then you can set it up in the settings. It's very convenient to use the navigation gesture instead of buttons because the buttons are always available on the left on the right hand side or you can set it to the left hand side or at the center uh, you will always have to reach out to it so the navigation gestures can be used on both the sides you, if you're holding the tab on the right side you can use the right navigation back button and from the left side also you'll be able to use it so that is more convenient to enable this all you need to do is just go to the settings again tap on display settings and this is where you will see navigation bar Tap on this, button is selected by default, just select these swipe gestures, you'll be able to use the swipe gestures from the bottom and when you have opened an application, you can use the swipe gestures from the right to go back or you can use it from the left as well to go back. That is the third thing you can do depending on your requirement. Next, 
the haptics are turned on by default. Whenever you uh, use a keyboard or uh, do any kind of action on the tablet, you will get that uh, vibration feedback, which may be annoying, so you may not want it. You can go ahead and disable this. Again, just go to the settings, tap on uh, sounds and vibration. Here you will see system vibration. Just tap on that and you can just turn off the system vibration for touch interactions, dialing keypads, Samsung keyboard, charging, and navigation gestures. Again, select the one based on your needs. Next, to use the tablet, we have got two different mode. This is the default mode that we have. We have got the app tray here, and we have got the dock here at the bottom on which we can set the applications, and we have got home pages here. Now, the second option is the Dex mode. Dex mode is more like a PC mode, uh, which has got the PC interface. Let me just show you that. You can just go to the settings here, and here tap on connected devices. This is where you will see Samsung DeX option. Just tap on this and you can just tap on start DeX. Before doing that, you can select the options here, auto start when book cover keyboard is connected, auto start when HDMI is connected. So just in case if you are uh, using the book cover keyboard, you can turn on the DeX automatically. Let me show you how it looks. Let me tap on start DeX. You see it has just switched to the DeX mode. We've got all these applications here uh, from the left corner. And at the bottom, we have got the task bar. Uh, we've got the app tray here and uh, we have got the recent application button here. We can go back by tapping on this and we've got all the recently used or recently opened application here at the taskbar. We have an option to uh, take the screenshot. You can just tap on this to take a screenshot on the screen. Then we've got volume bar and uh, we've got messages here. All the notifications will uh, be sitting here and we've got date information and the time information at the bottom right corner, battery information. When you tap on that, you will be able to see the uh, quick panel toggles here and we also have a brightness bar right here. Now this is a dex mode. You can use the tablet in dex mode or you can switch back to the uh, normal mode. Uh, let me just switch back to the normal mode here. You can see we have got the settings. I'll tap on exit dex and it will be switched back to the uh, normal tablet mode. This is another cool feature we have got. Now the next one is screen timeout. Now by default, the screen timeout is set to 30%. Let me just go to the display here, tap on screen timeout. Now I have selected five minutes because I'm making this video, so I want the screen to be uh, on all the time. But by default, it is 30 seconds. In case if you want to save some battery, you can select it uh, as 15 seconds. The screen will turn off automatically after 15 seconds of usage. When there is no movement on the screen, if you're not touching it, it will turn off by itself within 15 seconds. Another 15 seconds of a screen battery usage will be Reduced. You can select the one depending on your requirement and if you turn on this keep screen on while weaving the tablet screen will remain lit as long as you are staring at the screen. Now that is another feature that we have got if you want to enable it just enable that. Now let me just set it back to five minutes. Let's continue this video. Now the next thing you want to do is install a very important application from a Samsung called GoodLock. Now GoodLock is an amazing application which enables you to customize the tablet, the Galaxy phones. Here it is, I have already installed the GoodLock module. You can go to the Galaxy store and uh, download this GoodLock module. Let me open this now. As you can see, we have got various different modules here. Let me select this option here. We have got Theme Park, Fantastic, Wonderland, Lockstar, Keys Cafe, NAV Star, Home Up, Clock Face, Quick Star, Edge Lighting Plus. Then we have got some more modules here. So almost all modules are available here on the uh, Galaxy tab and this will require a separate dedicated video in which I'm going to explain all these modules for the tablet users so stay tuned but for now I want to show you one important thing that is the home up module let me open this now here we have got the home screen grid options now by default if you look at the uh, home screen grid when you press and hold on the home screen and tap on settings and tap on home screen grid here you will be able to see up to 5 by 7 maximum but using this uh, good lock module the home up module we can increase it to 8 by 6 up to about 9 by 9 10 by 10 or even up to 12 by 12 we can uh, change the grid sizes for that we need this home up module let me just open home up again here now these are the options that we have under home up. This is under home screen. Now here, home screen grid can be changed. I have set eight by six. If you want to increase the grid, you can increase it. The default grid is not cool. Uh, very few applications can be set on the home screen, but now you see I've set eight by, uh, sorry, I've set uh, eight by six grid 
and this is the number of applications that you, uh, you see. It looks neat and clean. So go ahead and set your grid depending on your requirement using this home screen, uh, the home up module. You can also change the app screen grid here and you can also enable loop pages. If you enable this, you'll be able to loop the pages here. You see, this is the second page I have. And when I swipe towards the right again, it will come back to the first page. So you can loop these pages using this option. And we have got some more customization options, which I'll discuss about probably in the next video. Next, the tablet comes with fingerprint sensors as well. It has got a biometric sensor on the right hand side here and uh, you can enable it by just going to the settings. You can tap on security and privacy and this is where you will see biometric options. Tap on that. I've already added one fingerprint here. You will be able to add multiple fingerprints here and right here you can enable show unlock transition effect if you want the transition effect to be seen. Let me show you that. Let me just lock the uh, tablet here and I'll just unlock it. You see, when I unlock it, it transitions smoothly into whatever is available on the screen. Now, if you turn this off, let me do this again. You see, it just opens up uh, directly. There is no transition effect here, but if you enable this, it looks pretty cool. So that's another thing you can do on the tablet. Next, let's discuss something more about security and privacy. Let's go to settings. I'll tap on security and privacy. Now here we have got a few important security features. First, let's tap on app security. Now you have to make sure you turn on the uh, features below to regularly check applications for malware and other suspicious activity. If any problems are found, you will be notified. So just make sure you have tapped on this app protection option. Uh, you need to turn this on. By default, this is not turned on. It says turn on app protection to stay safe from malware and other suspicious activity. By continuing, you agree to the uh, McAfee end user license agreement and McAfee privacy policy. I'll just tap on turn on and turn this on. Now, if you're installing any applications from third parties or uh, any other APKs, then you might have to scan those applications and this is gonna do that job. This app protection feature is the one you need to turn on. And then we also have this option, Google Play Protect. You can tap on this. You see it says no harmful apps found. Play Protect scanned 42 minutes ago. So if you want to scan it again, you can just tap on scan. The Google Play Protect will scan all the applications which are on the tablet. This will be useful in the future once you start installing many other third-party applications apart from the default apps that you have. Now let's just go back here. I'll just scroll down. Now here, let me tap on more security setting. This is where you can enable secure folder feature. Now secure folder is a fantastic feature offered by Samsung. You don't have a application lock feature or option on the uh, Samsung Galaxy phones or tablets, but we have got secure folder using which we can create a separate folder which can be locked using a password or biometrics. Just tap on secure folder, tap on continue. You have to give some permissions here, tap on continue. It is creating a secure folder. Once it is created, you will see a app icon which will be available on the app tray. You can set a pin or password and then you can duplicate all your applications which are on your main screen or on, the, on your home screen and you can use them separately inside the secure folder. You can save the media files, you can save uh, photos, videos, documents and nobody will be able to access it. It is completely secured by Knox. Unless the person knows the password, he or she will not be access your secure folder. So this is again a very useful feature you can enable on your Galaxy tablets. After this, we have got an option called Enhanced Data Protection. Let me tap on this. Now here you need to make sure you enable these two options. It says protect your cloud data with end-to-end -end encryption. This ensures no one can access your data but you. Even if there is a data breach, your cloud data will be protected. So make sure you enable encrypt backup data settings and uh, you can, you'll have to enter the password here and then enable encrypt sync data as well. Just turn this on and you will again have to uh, insert your password and these features will be turned on. I'm gonna do it later. I just bought the tab yesterday and I'm uh, exploring all the new features that we have. So you make sure you enable these uh, enhanced data protection option. Next, under same settings, under more security settings, we have got make password visible option. Show password characters briefly as you type them. Depending on your need, you can enable or disable it. If you don't want to see those characters that you're typing, you can uh, um, disable this. And if you want to make it visible, you can just enable this option. Next, under settings, we have got advanced features. Let me tap on this. Now, this is where we have got an option called labs. Just tap on that. 
Here you can enable these options. One is multi window for all applications. Allow all apps to open in pop up view or split screen view, including applications that haven't been designed for these layouts. So we know that we can open the applications in pop up view or split screen view. Let me just drag one of the applications uh, here. I will drag uh, the uh, my files application and I will drop it here. You see, this is open in split screen view. I can also drag another application and open it in a pop up view. So these are the features that we have. These are multi multitasking features which are available on Galaxy phones and Galaxy tablets and if you want this to work on all the applications even the third party applications then you can enable this particular feature which will enable all the applications to open uh, to be open in split screen view as well as pop up view and you also have an option landscape view for portrait applications there are some applications which will only work in the portrait mode so if you want to enable them in landscape mode as well you can just tap on this and select all the applications uh, that you want to use in the landscape more in full screen. The next thing you want to do is you go to the multi window option here and enable all these options. Now you see we have got this swipe for split screen view option. If I enable this, I can just swipe up from the bottom of the screen to open the application in split screen view. You see we can open one more application here and if I have disabled this option that will not work. So it will go to the recents. So just enable this feature to swipe up from the bottom of the screen to open the applications in split screen view. Then we have got swipe uh, for pop-up view. If you enable this, you can swipe from the top right corner uh, towards the center to open that application whichever is there on the screen in pop-up view. So that's another thing that you can do. And we do have some additional options here. We have got an option called full screen in split screen view as well. If you enable this, any applications which you open in split screen view will have a full screen view as well. Next, we have got a fantastic feature called daily board on these tablets. It will give you useful information and features while the tablet is charging. Let me just tap on this and enable this feature. Now, whenever you plug in the charger, it will show you all these information, the time, weather and calendar, memo, smart things, slideshow, etc. You can select the one you want or you can disable or enable the ones you want. And you can also select the way how you want to open the daily board or you can open the daily board feature uh, by selecting the time. And we also have an option to turn off as scheduled. So you can just turn this on and whenever you plug in the charger, you will get to see all these information, which is pretty cool. Now, these are some important things I wanted to share with you guys. If you bought a brand new Galaxy Tab, go ahead and make these changes on your tab. It is going to be very effective and uh, you will be able to use your uh, tablet to its fullest potential. There are loads of many tips and tricks. There are so many uh, useful features on the tablets. I'm going to discuss with you guys in the coming days. So stay tuned for those videos. For now, this is all I have. If you're interested in this wallpaper, I've left a link for this wallpaper application in the description. You can go ahead and download the wallpaper application that is called Wallbyte. This is a fantastic application which offers some amazing wallpapers for the uh, slab phones as well as for the tablets. You can just tap on this desktop option where you find these beautiful looking wallpapers. You can go ahead and download them for free. And if you want ad free experience, you can uh, go ahead and subscribe for premium. And you will also get some additional collections if you subscribe for premium membership. It's a brilliant app. You should go ahead and check it out and uh, let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.